So Hansel and Gretel returned home and lived happily ever after. Wow, that was a wild ride. Sure. Are fairy tales true or not true? Well, what do you mean by true? I mean, did they happen for real life? Well, no. Phew. But they've got true things in them. Like what? Like, you know, it's not good to be greedy and stuff. And if you're brave and honest, things will work out. Oh, well, yeah. Hey, you want to hear a fairy tale that is true? Yes, please. It's about a mean brother who ends up good and it's got a curse in it and even a princess. Wow. And it happened for real life. Yep. You know how I know? How? Because it happened to me. Ooh. This episode of Bluey is called Fairy Tale. This story is set a long, long time ago in a place called the 80s. That's me when I was 10 years old, on holiday with your Uncle Rad and Uncle Stripe. Hang on, where's your helmet? This was the 80s, man. There were no helmets. It was a wild place. Trampolines had no nets. Ah! Your mum wrote your name on everything. BMX seats were high. Music was on cassettes. And skids were big. Oh, good skid, Rad. You can't skid, Stripe. Yes, I can. No, you can't. And Mum wants you. Huh? Made you look, you dirty chook. Ha ha! Suffer! <gasps> You're teasing Stripe. Afraid so. But that's mean. I told you. This fairy tale's about a mean brother. Me. <gasps> but don't worry. I was about to learn my lesson. Bandit, stop teasing Stripe. Make me. Hey, Stripe, your wheels are turning. Huh? Chuck! Jinx! Huh? What's jinx? OK, in the 80s, if two people said the exact same word at the exact same time, like... Snake! One of you would yell out, Jinx! Jinx! Which meant you had ten seconds to touch them. One! <laughs> two! Three! Four! Five! <laughs> six! <laughs> seven! If you didn't touch them in that ten seconds... Dad. They'd say... Scant! And then you could never speak again. <gasps> what? You can never speak forever and ever. Nope. You were cursed. Wow. The only thing that could break the curse was if someone said your name. Do you want me to say your name? OK. Bandidums! Ha! Can't you just say your own name? Nope, you're not allowed to speak. What happens if you do speak? Oh, uh, well, look, I shouldn't tell you, but I think they said... What? That's terrible. I told you, the 80s was a wild place. Anyway, being cursed was not a lot of fun when you're on holiday. Kids, do you want your fish battered or crumbed? Battered. Battered. What about you? Come on, speak up. He wants crumbed. OK. He loves crumbed. Don't you ban dishwasher? Ha! Ugh, I hated crumbed. Who ate all the mini cereals? He did. Right, you get over here. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Nana was a bit mean. Yeah, it was the eighties. Mums were allowed to be mean, and dads weren't much help either. Let's see who can shout the loudest. Okay. Ah! Kids, keep it down. Ah! What do you want, Stripe? Ah, uh, Brad. Ah, uh, Gerald. Ah, uh, whatever your name is. What are you on about? What's he on about? Rad jinxed him. He can't talk until someone says his name. All uh, right. So you want me to say your name so you can talk again? Well, you're dreaming, mate. You know what I call this? I call it a good start. How do I jinx it so none of you can talk? Dad! Is it like this? woo I was never going to talk again. No one was going to say my name. I'm not going to say your name. I think this will do you some good. All holiday you've been mean to your little brother. You can't tic-tac strike. It's my turn now. No, it isn't. <laughs> nice stack. This is a chance for you to have a good think about it. Nana was right. Not about a perm, but about me. I hadn't been a very good brother to strike. I deserve to be cursed. So, when did the curse get broken? The very next morning, actually. I was on my way to the shower block to clean my teeth. By yourself? It was the 80s. Mum! Ow! Stripe had taken a shortcut to the toilets and got stuck in the prickles. Ow! <gasps> so 
you could tell him you won't help him unless he says your name. Oh, yeah. You're right. I could have done that. So did you? No, I just helped him. Thanks, Ben. Dina. Ha <laughs> ha. What? You helped him and even then he didn't say your name? <laughs> That's brothers, kid. To tell you the truth, I was proud of him. But then who broke the curse? Well, remember I said this fairy tale has a princess? Bandit Hila. Is this your hat? Is that Mum? That's Mum. What? Don't listen to him. It wasn't me. Don't listen to her. It was. Well, look, it might have been. We did used to go on holidays to that caravan park. Case closed. But I've got no memory of that happening. Oh, it's like a dagger in my heart. How did you know your name? It was written on my hat. Wow. Either way, it's a good story. But is it true or not true? I need to know. Well, I guess you have to decide. Do you believe in fairy tales? Here you go. Thanks. See you later. Yeah. See you later. you're too slow. You need to let Bluey win sometimes. Why would I do that? Because she's a child? You don't want me to let you win, Bluey. Trust me. Why not? Because you'll give up trying to get better. And what does losing every time do? Nothing much. Oh, really? Care for a game of memory snap? No way. I hate memory snap. And why is that? Because I lose every time. Snap! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. I'm like a mongoose. <laughs> You're a goose, all right. This episode of Bluey is called Obstacle Course. Go, Bingo! <laughs> Go, Bluey! Kids see my green ball. Look, Dad, we set up an obstacle course. Do you want to have a go? Righto, I'll race you. Um, where's the finish line? No one's racing anyone. This is just for having fun. Yeah. Oh, I see. What are you doing? I'm doing chicken. Why is Dad acting like a chicken? He's saying you're scared. Of chickens? No, of racing me. Don't you kids know what chicken means? No, and they don't need everything turned into a competition. That's loser talk. Come on, the hose is the finish line. Ready, set? No! They're not racing. Yeah, we're happy just having fun. When it gets sherbet. Eat sherbet! Race it, go! Yeah! Wait! Okay, well done. Thanks. Now I might go and get my sherbet. Aww. Yeah, you do that. I think we've had enough, Dad, for one morning. Okay, let's go back to having fun. That was fun. Yeah! What? I want another race. Can you help me beat Dad? Yeah, I want sherbet. <sighs> okay, he won't let you win, though. That's true. There's only one thing you can do. Cheat! Yeah! Yeah! What? No, I meant practice! You kids sure are keen to get whooped again. Oh, yes, we are. <laughs>
All we can do is try harder this time. That's the way. See, Mum? Losing doesn't stop these kids. It sure doesn't. Where's it going? Hey! <laughs> that was a good start, but there's no way you're going to beat me! What? Hey, what? This wasn't this low before. Uh -huh. oh. Here! Come on, Bluey! Uh. Oh. I won! Shut up! Give it up, big guy. It's over. Uh. Oh, I love you, Sherbert. Well done, Bluey. You won. What's up, Bluey? Not enjoying your sherbet? No. Tastes a bit sour, right? Yeah. Sherbet's meant to taste sour. I think I want to beat Dad fair and square. Yeah, I think you do too. Come on. What? No! But we won that! It will taste so much sweeter when you win fair and square. But Trevor's not meant to be sweet. Okay, the key to this one, use the ball to speed you up. Ah! You try. Where's I go? Ah! Stop. We'll work on that. Don't waste time getting onto your bum. Just go down on your belly. Ah! That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Now why are you climbing down? What do you mean? Will your dad spend all that time climbing down? No, he'll just jump. Well, then you've got to jump. But it's too high. No, it's not. Come on, Bluey, hurry. Isn't there an easier way to be, Dad? I wish there was, kid, believe me. But unfortunately, your dad's right. These obstacles aren't going to get out of the way by themselves. OK. Ha! Yeah! <gasps> Zero! Zero! Oh, no, you pushed the wrong button, sweetie. It's this one. Oh. Again! Can you run? As fast as a greyhound. How fast are you going to run? As fast as a greyhound. <gasps> Zero. All right. Winds are favourable. I've inspected the track this time. No little surprises. How fast can you run? As fast as a greyhound. How fast are you going to run? As fast as a greyhound. A bit more greyhound talk than last time, but that's fine. <clears throat> Father, I apologise for cheating in our last race. Oh, well, yeah, good. Cheaters never prosper. Indeed. I wish you good luck. Uh, you too. Ready, set, go! Ha! What? How'd you learn to do that? That's it, Bluey, that's it. Come on, Bluey! What the...? Come on! Come on, monkeys! Yeah! Hey! What was that? Uh, yeah, I can't be sure. You cheated! Well, did I? Yes! Ah, uh, who can say for sure? When the mongoose is moving at full speed, you know, it's all a bit of a blur. I think the mongoose couldn't handle losing to a child. You get zero. All right, all right. Rematch? 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 Bluey? Let's settle it with a game of memory snap. Ah, oh, biscuits. Ah, uh, giraffe. Ah, uh, oh, where was that other giraffe? Oh, monkey! <laughs> giraffe, giraffe, monkey, monkey, eagle, eagle. How do you do that? You might as well start now, Bingo. Hey, Greyhound, Greyhound, I'm in! Uh... Here you go. Nice to meet you, Ziggy. Good luck with your... Uh, your app. Thanks, Mort. G'day, Dad. G'day, Chilly Dog. Hey, Bandit. G'day, Mort. Been a while since you've come to the city. It has. It's so busy. Let me just sort Ziggy out. 
See you, more. Hey, what? Where's he going? I didn't pay him yet. He's already been paid, Dad. On the internet. Gee, that internet thing's really taken off, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You say good day to the kids while we finish dinner. Sounds good. Hey, uh, what's an app? This episode of Blue is called Bones. Hey, kids. Granddad! Oh, there you go. Can you play with this, Granddad? Oh, yeah, you bet. What are you playing? We're playing restaurant. Oh, yeah, I've been to a restaurant. You'll need your phone. I haven't got one. What? Hey, you can use this one. I'll make another. Oh, thanks, Bingo. This is where you live. Oh, great. Is this my house? No, it's not your house. Oh, right. Well, whose is it? It's theirs. You pay them on your phone to have a holiday here. See? Just press this app. Boop. Oh, an app. Yeah, I know about these. Boop. Too easy. Oops. You'll have to pay for that. Oh, uh... Just push the button. Boop. Okay, I work at the restaurant and it's dinner time and you want some food. Got it. Check out my new phone. Oh, lovely. What does it do? Well, it can... Evening, ladies. What are you doing here? I thought this was a restaurant. It is, but you don't come to the restaurant. Don't you? You stay at home and order on your phone. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, I, I know what's going on. I use my phone. <laughs> ring, 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 ring. Oh, hello? Oh, hello. I'd like to order some food. Yeah, Dad, you don't phone call the restaurant. What? You just order on the app. But I haven't got a menu. It's on the app. All oh, right. Boop. Oh, yeah, here we go. Hang on. What type of restaurant are you? What do you mean? Are you Chinese or Italian? We're everything. Yeah, you can order a pizza or a burrito. A burrito? <laughs> burrito. <laughs> you can have anything you want. Oh, OK. Anything I want, eh? Oh, that makes it harder for some reason. Oh, oh sorry, guys. Better pay for that. Boop. Do you need help choosing, Grandad? No, no, I'm all right. Ah, oh, I know. Boop. Curried sausages. Curried sausages? Blech. Why do you want curried sausages? I love curried sausages. Blech. You said I could have anything. OK. Curried sausages. <laughs> Evening, ladies. I'm here to pick up me sausages. <laughs> Grandad, you don't pick them up. Bingo delivers them to you. All right. OK. <laughs> hey, how are you going? Nice night, eh? Oh, uh, you don't really chat to the scooter person. Oh, OK. Sorry. Boop. Did I do it right? Yeah, good one, Grandad. No worries. Let's have some food. Oh, oh, that's good. So do I just eat here, alone? You can watch TV on your phone if you like. Yeah, there's a TV app. OK. Boop. Are you sure we're playing this right? Yeah. OK. Hey, uh, can anyone make one of these apps? Um, yeah. And they can do whatever you want? Yeah. Good to know. I'm just borrowing this. <laughs> Finish me sausages. Oh, I could go some dessert. Boop. Pavlova. Boop. Ooh, I just got an order for a pavlova. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Almost ready, delivery driver. I'll just pop this in here. What? There's a crack in your box! Get it out! Get it out! I'm not going near it. Someone has to! Hey! I've made an app for that. Just push this button and a crock catcher comes to your door. That's just what we need! Load down the app! What's the picture, Granddad? It's a little crock set, like a little freshie. Okay, hurry! A 
customer. Evening, ladies. Nice night, eh? Are you the croc catcher from the app? Sure am. Well, can you please catch this croc? Sure can. First thing, get it outside. <laughs> you don't want a croc loose in your house, trust me. Now what? You, grab him by the snout. Me? What about you? I'll be back here, supervising. OK, hold still, Bingo. <laughs> got it. Jump on its back. <laughs> What do we do? What are you asking me for? You're the croc catcher. Well, I'm still working on the app. Well, Dad. OK, OK. Which of your neighbours don't have any pets? <laughs> Watch his head. Watch his head. <laughs> Singing to a liar, a liar. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. Dinner's ready. Yeah, dinner! It's curried sausages. Yeah! You beauty! Come on. Things have changed a bit since I was last in the city. Yep. Kids are still kids, though. You found my money. Hey, that's ours! No, it's mine. I must have dropped it. Yeah, and we found it, which makes it ours. Uh-uh. You have to work for money, kids. No, you don't. It comes from the machine in the wall. I've seen it. Yeah, you just have to push buttons. There's more to it than that. This is outrageous! Yeah, we want ice cream. Ice cream tastes the best when you've earned it. That's not true. Well, let's find out. Come on, in the car, let's go. We're having ice cream. Yep, I'll drive you to the corner shop. Eee! Oh, just one thing. Huh? Boop. Ragdoll. Oh, no, not Ragdoll. This episode of Bluey is called Ragdoll. Dad, come on. We don't want to play Ragdoll. We just want ice cream. Sounds good. I just need some help getting to the car. <gasps> Mum! Your mum's at work. Earning monies. It's not that far to the car. We just need to pull him. OK, I'll go from this side. Ready, go. <laughs> he moved. Hooray. Now, pull on that leg. I'll push his butt. I wonder what flavour ice cream I'll get. Woo, it's working. It's very slow, though. Let's try rolling him. OK. Maybe chop chip. Mm, chop mint. Ready, set. Bubblegum, salted caramel. No, wait, pistachio. Definitely pistachio. Hurry up, kids. I want an ice cream. We're going as fast as we can. Whoop, square peg in a round hole. I know. Oh, Dad, this is too hard. Obstacles do not block the path. They are the path. I don't understand what you're saying. Louie, you lift him up that way. Oh, OK. A bit of hard work, never hurt anyone. Ah! Oh, okay, that actually did hurt. Come on, Bingo! That's it, kids. If you get knocked down seven times, you get up eight. There's no eye in team. Dad, stop talking. Louis, look. Oh, yeah, this will be easy. What will be easy? Ooh, 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 ooh. Obstacles oh. are placed oh, in our way oh, to see if what we want oh, is really worth oh, fighting for. Woo! Go, Dad! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Help me get him around the corner. Oh. He's stuck. Even if we get him out of the house, we still 
have to get him all the way across the yard to the car. It's impossible. Great works are performed not by great strength, but by perseverance. Hang on. Are you trying to teach us something? One must persevere. Oh, he is. What? Okay, yes. I'm trying to teach you the value of hard work. Why do you keep trying to teach us things that we don't want to learn? Because I don't want you growing up to be lazy. <sighs> That's it. We're not going any further. What? You don't want ice cream? No, you can keep your monies. Okay. Louie? Yes? I do want an ice cream. Me too. Right, come on. We're getting this big blue guy into the car. Hooray! But we're not learning anything. Got it? Got it. Do yourself a favour. Don't work hard if you can work smart. Hmm. Ready, Bingo? Ready? <laughs> Skateboard him down the stairs. What? No, do not skateboard me down those stairs. Okay, fine. Where the bullfrog jumps Whoa. from. Oh, oh my yes. goodness. All right. Morning, Wendy. What's going on? Are you okay? He stole our money. What? Ah, oh, that's putting a bit of a slant on it. He said he'll only give it back if we carry him all the way to the car. Is that right? Just keep walking, Wendy. This doesn't concern you. It does now. Come on, girls. Hey, Wendy, oh. watch the hands. Bossing oh. around, young children. Oh. Hey, 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 watch the prickles. Oh. Oh. We'll never lift him into the car seat. He's too heavy. Oh, well, what you gonna do? Get the door, girls. I'll show you what 10 years of Pilates can do. Hey, hey, Wendy, what are you doing? Pay attention, girls. Ready? Engage the core. Straight back. Ready, Wendy? And... <laughs> oh, look at those quads. <laughs> Promise me you'll work hard to maintain a strong core, girls. Don't get lazy. Yes, Wendy, we won't. <laughs> oh. Yeah! sure I should be driving in this condition. What? So we don't get ice cream? Not unless you can drive. Oh, drop yourselves in, kids. I'll drive you to the shops. Here you go, my darlings. Thanks, Wendy. Thanks, Wendy? I paid for them. Oh, yes. Here's your hey. change. <laughs> okay, Bluey. Take a lick. Whoa! This is the best ice cream I've ever tasted. Ha! I told you! Change colour. Changing colour is tricky. I wish there was a rainbow coloured yarn. Oh, tell me about it. I'm on a quest to find rainbow yarn. What's a quest? A quest is like a journey a hero goes on. Oh, how does a quest start? Well, usually the hero starts at home. They're nice and comfortable, but then adventure calls. All right, who's coming with me to Mackenzie's house? No thanks, Dad. Mum's teaching me how to crochet. Well, just you and me, Bingo. Come on, ah. let's go. I am not interested in that. Why are you going to Mackenzie's house? Curry swap. 
What's curry swap? It's where you swap curry. I've made a Rogan Josh and Mackenzie's dad has made a B friend day. I swap a bit of mine for a bit of his, then we have two curries. Ah. Oh. But I need bingo to carry the Peshwari nun. <laughs> oh, Mum, it's a quest. Yeah, a curry quest. <laughs> Come on, no. Bingo! No. Usually the hero finds a reason not to go on the quest. I want to stay with my yeah. mum! But something always changes their mind. OK, fine, stay. But you know what Mackenzie's mum has? Face paints! Face paints! Hey, Bingo! Peshwari Nan! <laughs> and so the quest begins. And what happens on the quest? Well, the hero is out in the wide world now. All sorts of challenges pop up. Hey, I didn't say you could use both legs. What? You heard me. You only get to use one leg. Hee <laughs> I can't hop the whole way. Toughen up, kid. This is a carry swap. <laughs> OK. And who said you could walk forwards? What? Sometimes the hero meets friends on the way. G'day, Doreen. Hi, Bandit. Hi, Bingo. Oh, something smells good. It's a Peshmari nun. Doing a curry swap. Lucky you. You looking forward to tomorrow, Bandit? The friends often warn the hero of the danger ahead. Danger? You're not going through the park, are you? Yeah, why? Oh, there's a magpie protecting his nest. He swooped me earlier. Look! Ooh. The trick is not to take your eyes off him. If he thinks you're looking at him, he won't swoop. OK. Oh, my bus is here. There's always danger on a quest. Otherwise, it's not a quest. Oh, there he is. Why does he want to swoop us? He's just been a good dad. He thinks we're trying to hurt his eggs. But we're not. I know, but he doesn't know that. Just walk with me and remember what Doreen said. Don't take your eyes off him. Keep looking, keep looking. I can't turn my neck any further. Walk backwards. But I can't walk backwards, remember? Uh, come on, come on! <laughs> ah! <laughs> That was close. Look, Dad, we're here. Curry swap! Woo! After facing the grave danger, the hero arrives at where they were going. Here you go, the nine of Peshmari. Cheers, Bingo. Would you like your face painted, Bingo? Yes, please. I'm glad you're here, Bingo. I'm on the face painting stall at the school fair, so I need to practice. I'm not very good, I'm afraid. Hey, Bingo! Ah! Is that the end of the quest? Not yet. Usually here, some secret is revealed and the quest takes a turn. Bingo, you get to go to the airport tomorrow. Airport? I'm not going to the airport. Yeah, you are. Your dad just told my dad he has to fly to work and he's going to be gone for ages. What? Mackenzie? So you wait till the end to put the curry leaves in. Dad, are you flying away to the airport tomorrow? Oh, yeah, I am. How long are you gone for? Just six weeks. How long is six weeks? It's six weekends. Oh, that's forever! It's here that the true challenge of the quest is revealed. We have to head back now, Bingo. We can't. I don't want to go past the magpie. And I don't want you to leave. I'm sorry, mate. I don't want to go away, but I have to. But just when things seem the saddest... Bingo! I've got the perfect face paint for you! You want to know a secret, Bingo? Yes? I'm thinking of not doing the face painting stall this weekend. Why? Because I'm not very good at it, am I? Mackenzie's meant to be a cheater! Am I? But then no one will be able to get their faces painted. No, I guess not. Well, I think you have to do it. Even though I don't want to? Yes, even though that. Yeah, you're probably right. What do you think? <laughs> I think I'm getting better. See you, Border Collies. Enjoy the curry. See ya. Good luck with the magpie. Now, every good hero learns a few things on their quest. Mackenzie's mum, can you face paint one more thing? Yeah. Armed with 
everything they've learned along the way, the hero faces their ultimate test. <coughs> the end. You're my hero, Bingo. <laughs> go on quests anyway. They seem dangerous. Well, they usually don't, remember? Oh, yeah. But that's what makes them heroes. They go anyway. <laughs> Oh, you got no chance, love. Tiki, 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 tiki. Hey! Oh, look, Ray Lee, jiggles. <laughs> Kids, don't take photos of people's bottoms. But we're holiday people. It's the first time we've ever seen this bottom. Tiki, boop, boop. That's a good one. I don't care. It's rude. Take photos of something else. Okay, I'll take photos of leaves. Leaves are exciting. Tiki, tiki, tiki. Why is it rude to take photos of your bottom? It just is. But it's just a bottom. Just trust me, I've been on this planet longer than you. Okay. If you're looking for something to do, the dishwasher needs unpacking. Dad enters the room. Dad, look at my leaf photos. Pretty cool leaves, Bingo. Dad, can you bend over? Bluey, what? No chance, kid. I wasn't born yesterday. Huh? You weren't born what? I wasn't born yesterday. It's a saying. It means I've been around long enough to know exposing my rear end to you isn't a good idea. Hee <laughs> Born yesterday. Bingo, I've got an idea. Is it about unpacking the dishwasher? No, Dad. Can you pretend you actually were born yesterday? Yeah! Oh, man. Is it too late to bend over? This episode of Blue is called Born Yesterday. Ready? And... Born Yesterday! Hooray! Wow! My second day on the planet. Look at all this. It's amazing. And look at this little blue thing. Oh, and a red thing. Hi. Ah, it makes noises. Amazing. Who are you calling it? We have names. Oh, I'm sorry. I was born yesterday. I don't know what a name is. It's something you call something. Like my name is Bluey and mine's Bingo. Bluey. Bingo. Yes. Can I have a name? <laughs> You've already got one. It's Bandit. Bandit. I like it. Oh, look at that. This is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. It's just a stool. Hello, stool. My name is Bandit. <laughs> Stools can't talk. Really? Why? They're not alive. Alive? Yeah. Alive? No, that's not alive. Oh, uh, is it? That's called food. You put it in your mouth. Why would I put it in my... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like a new dog. I like food. Thanks for the update. And stools can't talk. <laughs> Kids, what have you done to your dad? He was born yesterday. He doesn't know anything. Are you alive? Yoo-hoo. Hi, I'm your wife. My wife? Yes. And if you want me to stay your wife, you'll learn about dishwashers. Dishwasher. Wife. Wow. There's just so much to learn. <laughs> Whoa. This is outside. You've got some grass and some wood. A fence? Ah, look out! What is it? There's a giant fireball in the big blue thing. That's the sun. It's 
meant to be there. And the big blue thing is the sky. Oh, phew. This is a swing. Push me. Swing. <laughs> the other way. Oh, okay. Swing. <laughs> This way. Ah, swing. This is. Oh. <laughs> so this is our street. You've got some cars and oh, a bird. Ooh, rubbish. Don't ooh. worry about the sun. It's meant to be there. Uh, okay. Oh, come on, Bandit. Huh? Keep walking. I have a wife. Okay, Bandit. Probably don't say things about the sun to people at bus stops. Yeah. Why? Uh, it's hard to explain. Okay, I won't. Food! Yeah, I got the steak and bacon. Food! Oh, hey, Ben. Yeah. Oh, I... oh, Dad, no! That's my boy! Yeah. Oh. Give me that! Here! <laughs> yeah. Food! Oh, you ate all the sauce! Sorry, Lucky Sam. He was born yesterday. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> Food. <sighs> you can't just take people's food. Why? Because it doesn't belong to you. But long? Yeah, like everyone's stuff isn't everyone's, you know? Everyone? Look, just don't take people's food. And don't talk about the sun, okay? You have to just trust us. Why? Well, because we've been on this planet longer than you. That's true. I was only born yesterday. G'day, Bandit. I have nothing to say about the sun to you. <laughs> uh, great. Wow. Name? Oh, that's cool. Wait, that. Bingo. It just makes trouble when we tell him what things are called. Why don't we let him enjoy just looking at things today? Yeah, we can teach him names later. Name? It doesn't matter. Just look. Alive. Hello, Stool. <laughs> it's okay, Dad. You can stop playing Born Yesterday. Oh, you sure? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, real fun. Thanks. No worries. I enjoyed it. I feel like a new dog. Bingo, can you help me unpack the dishwasher? Sure. Oh, good on you, kids. Uh, kids? Yeah? Has your dad stopped playing Born Yesterday? Yeah. Okay. Just checking. <laughs> <laughs> 